Aloha, Richard Halverson here, and we are doing ICS 321 assignment five. Uh, and this is, uh, we're gonna do part B, where we uh, create the uh, zip code table and uh, you know link it all up for and keys and all that. So um, we are gonna do part B here, adding the seventh table. And uh, okay, so, Oops, let's see, so where are we now? Let's, uh, let me refresh this. I think I might have, um, I had to switch over to the other. <clears throat> I actually have both. I have both uh, Spectrum and Hawaiian Tail. This, this router is my Hawaiian Tail router and this is my Spectrum router. Because uh, I live way out in the boonies of Oahu, and uh, uh, neither of them are that reliable, so I, I switch off. Uh, but I have the cheapest plans. So anyway, um, so uh, right now our database looks like this, and we're QACS, and we have these, um, you know, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, six tables that I imported, and I'm using uh, the uh, SQL.ICS321.com, um, you know, control panel thingy here, and I'm I'm down here in question five, and I click this the submit button for the first one, and I get, uh, and I'm at 78.5 out of 91.5 because I've done part A, and so now I gotta create the zip code file, a zip code table, and uh, populate that, and link up the foreign keys and so on. So uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna start with, um, so okay, so there's zip codes in, there's zip codes in customer, and there's not zip codes in employee, and there's not zip codes in item, and there's not zip codes in sale or sale item, but there are zip codes in vendors. So there's zip codes in vendors, and uh, zip codes, uh, let me make this a little smaller here. So there's zip codes in vendors and there's zip codes in customers. Okay, so, uh, so I'm gonna make a new table now. The whole thing about these tables is you notice right now when you click up on database, the collation, okay? Um, when you're doing foreign keys, and uh, I don't know why it says my SA in there, but um, oh, last Sweden. Oh, that's because that's the default. See, the default is this. Slide. So anyway, um, um, you can either make your zip code table by copying either the vendor table, which has got zip code city state, or actually the customer table, which has city zip code state. Or if you create a new table, which some people have done, which is a perfectly reasonable way to do it, you create a new table down here, you have to make sure that you make it the same um, collation. So I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna do it what I think is the easiest way is I'm gonna make uh, a zip code table out of a table that already exists that's what I'm doing I'm breaking it down and it doesn't matter which one so I've got the customer table here it's the first one and I've got a city state and a zip okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, operations and I'm going to copy this table copy table customer I'm gonna copy it uh, this table to uh, zip code zip code and I'm going to uh, just copy the structure. Yeah, that's what I'm just going to do. Copy the structure. Uh, go. All right, so now I've got another zip table here called zip code. And if I click over here, or you know, I can click on the database up here. Here it is, zip code. If I click on the browse, it's got all that. If I click on structure, it's got all these fields. <clears throat> well, I don't want all these fields. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. 
a first name or address. I want city, I want state, I want zip, but I don't want phone or I don't want email. So I'm just gonna click all those that I don't want and drop them. Okay, now this table is empty, so that's why I can do this. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got my three fields here, and um, I could move them. I could move the columns if I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave them the way they, the way they are. But look, but notice the order. It's city, state, zip. However, I want zip to be the primary key. Okay, because um, the zip code determines the city and the state. Uh, normally, you would have the zip on top, uh, which you can do by moving, clicking this, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it this way. Um, and I'm gonna make this one the primary key. So I'm gonna go right over here and I'm gonna click primary. Okay. So now I've got this empty table here and now I have to populate the empty table. And so I'm gonna populate it from customer, city state zip, and I'm gonna populate it from vendor, city state zip. And I want those to go into zip code, which is empty. So I'm gonna go, uh, let's see, um, mm, 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 zip SQL, I'm gonna go select city, uh, city, state zip from um oh, what's the first one customer customer cus okay uh and uh, so that looks like this but i really want it to be um distinct and so that ends up being uh, only eight of them. Okay, so those are distinct, and so I so I can dump those into um, I can dump those into zip code. Uh, so I can go in the beginning here. I go insert into zip code, um, and it's city state zip. It's the same order. It's the same order. So. Uh, so let's see what happens if I do this. Okay, so now zip code looks like this. All right, but I guess I still have to put in if there's any different zip codes from vendor. So I'm gonna go uh, click on vendor here. I'm gonna click on vendor. So it says select from vendor. And I'm, this insert is gonna be um, uh, insert ignore. Uh, into zip code, select city, state, zip from vendor. Okay, let's see what this does. Well, uh, that's fine. Warnings. But what does zip code look like? Okay, now it's got, I guess it's got more. Okay, anyway, so it's got 11 different zip codes. Okay, so now that we have that, I should be able to go to customer. And uh, what happens if I go to uh, structure, relation view, and I link zip code to this database, table zip code, zip ah okay that works uh and then let's go to vendor and we'll go to structure and i'm going to do the zip code deal there so i'm going to go relation view zip database this database uh to zip code zip save oh yeah okay so since i did that i should be able to go back to customer and so i no longer need this city state here so i'm going to go to the structure and i can now delete city and state oh 
first of all, let me um, go and refresh my assignment 5 DB schema. That is, go, that is go right here and we'll click. Where are we now? Oh, I guess we're done. Oh, <clears throat> gee, I guess my, my grading software is not smart enough to recognize that I have not yet deleted these two fields from the customer table and the vendor table. Well, okay, so it does say 91 out of 95. So, I, so I'm gonna make it the correct answer. So to drop these two in customer, I can now drop city and state because they're linked by zip. So these two are checked. Let me drop. Um, okay, I just want to make sure I'm recording. Okay, so let me drop city and state. And, uh, and then let me, uh, is it still? Okay, it's still on 91. Uh, and then let me drop city and state in vendor. They don't need them anymore. City state in vendor drop. City state, yes. Okay, so um, that, so we do have 91 out of 91.5 out of 91.5. And so that completes uh, assignment five, part B. So thanks for watching.